Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk, and I'm again with the very lovely Dump Man. Hello, Dump Man. Hello, the lovely Bald Explorer. Good to be back. It nice is to see you. good to be back. Now, I have to say, I'm very excited because so we've nice. got a bit of an exclusive today, just right. by chance. Yes. Dump Man, when we were filming a number of other little productions, we, he just said, I'll just show you Helling Lai Station. Yeah. It's a private house, can't get in, but there's a bit of the area on the Cuckoo Line that you can have a look at. And then we saw this lady, Linda. Lovely lady. Lovely Linda. And we just asked a very simple question. Any chance we could have a quick look on your platform? And she said yes. <laughs> and she said yes. Surprise. So we're going to take a look around at the whole station from the outside along the platform, maybe where the goods yard used to be, and then we'll go down and have a look at the line. So fancy joining us? Yes. I think good. so. Come on in, Dumpman. Opened in uh, 1880. 1880. As part of the Cuckoo Line. Uh, the stretch south of Helsham was already open, but this bit running up to uh, the north hadn't opened until 1880. And not the busiest place, but then became busier with the opening of the asylum at Hellingai, uh, which was in 1889, 1899, I think. Quite a, a, a big building, wasn't sure. it? And an important building. Huge building, which had its own little line running off to the east of here, which we, we can mention. So. We also know it's just about to be redecorated. So this is, I think, gives an added charm, yes. an added faded beauty. Yes. That we're seeing it just before major, major works. Major works, mm. on it? And it, and uh, as you approach, I mean, you did actually say it looks like it has just been closed for a while. Yeah. And it's uh, and actually it's been closed since the 60s. Yeah. So 1965. Yeah. Mm. So it's actually in remarkable condition. It's been lovingly looked after all the years in between. It seems. The present folk have been here for 30 years plus. Yes, and, and, and open, which was very nice, to people like us uh, just asking that question. Yeah, shouting through the fence. <laughs> Walk round the side now and come on to the old platform. But before I show you the remarkable canopy and all of that, let's just take a look. What, what direction is this? This is southwards, is yeah, it? Yeah, this is looking south along the platform. Along so the platform. back in the direction of Hailsham and Polegate. And down here would have been... Yeah, the goods yard would have been off to the right-hand side of your picture. Uh, a couple of sidings and probably animal loading bays, that sort of thing. Uh, all of now either been swept away or obscured by growth. Yes. But uh, yeah, large area to the right, which was a goods area. Um, and then our left, of course, is where the line ran. That's right, yeah. And actually is now an open footpath for people yeah. to cycle and cycle whatever. Path, yeah. Which is which is which just makes it a bonus for us to be able to just stroll along quite a lengthy platform. It is, yeah. And actually, I think some of it's been committed to grass now. But uh, you know, the the platform as, as such continues in that grassed area. Over on the right-hand side, I don't know how clearly you can see it, but there are sort of brick remains of structures which would have been associated with the, with the goods yard. I mean, there's a square right. area there which oh, may yeah. be part of an animal loading bay. So you would have seen a, a couple of and used of used principally for by farmers and people like that. Yeah, like farmers, local industry, any any of that really. Coal deliveries, all sorts of all sorts of things could be moved by rail, as indeed they could still could be. Yes, if yes, there was enough impetus for it. Right. So let's uh, let's take a little trip back up along the platform and to the station and uh, have a look at the quite remarkable canopy. Yes, it is, it is nice. Another thing that's rather nice is that there are these floral details are uh, painted on the wall, which have been kept, which really, really do look rather good. You probably recognise them, you see them at the Bluebell Railway, various other London, Brighton, South Coast Railway stations. Oh, right, well, I can't wait. And uh, to see them up close is a treat, because I've only ever seen them through the fence, you see. Yes, of course. <laughs> Yeah, so this is this is a first for you as Absolutely, well. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Dumpman Films has never been here. Oh, well, that's uh, nice to know that the the Bald Explorer has uh, You've taken me somewhere. Yeah, that's it. So here we go, and it is beautifully preserved, isn't it? It's yeah. it, considering it's a private house and you know very nice, friendly people. Um, I'm going to stick to the edge of the platform here, just past a little bit of washing, but there above the washing, these are the. These are the uh, murals that you're yeah, talking that's about? that's it. The little, little extra details which, uh, which you do see on some of the other stations in this area. And it's great to see they're still there. 
and that somebody's taking the time to, you know, make sure they are still there. Yeah. Well, we were we were told it was extended, weren't we? So the oh, building yeah. had been extended, um, which was possibly in keeping with the extra traffic for the uh, for the the asylum. Yes, because when the asylum came, I guess the traffic must have increased yeah. quite a bit. You've got not only the patients, but you've got doctors coming and going, yeah. specialists. You've perhaps some moving patients for extra treatment up and down to London. Constant supplies of coal and oil as well to keep yes. it to keep it going. Because the um, the little railway that runs to the asylum was electric. That's right. Electrically um, Gen generated. generated. Uh, actually, up at the hospital, they oh, made their, their own yeah. electricity. So they needed coal to generate the electricity. Coal for a while, and then they used oil. I oh, think right. from the late fifties onwards. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this is uh, this is absolutely remarkable. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautifully, and and it's so evocative. You know, you could go to the to the Bluebell Railway, and apart from just those odd bits of details like baggages and sure. the, the, the little trucks that the luggage is pushed about on and people in costume you're there yeah. you, you know you you are actually there the yeah. fact that you can't see the the line of course is is neither here nor there because this is dirty great hedge here which obviously gives them a bit of privacy affords them a bit of privacy yeah, yeah. which is fair enough we'd Absolutely. have a go that so this uh, looks like the uh, ancient entrance to a toilet block to me yes yeah, useful dustbin area there yeah, it's gentleman's in there, not anymore. So let's have our last little look down there before we that's go the, down onto the track. That's the money shot. That is beautiful. Yeah. And we'll, uh, we'll go down onto the track and see what modern interpretations they've got. There are a couple. Yeah. 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 Well, we've just taken um, a trip round the side of the house, the property. We're back on the public footpath now. Yes. To see what you would normally see if you weren't as lucky as us. That's right. Uh, and we're coming down to where the railway would have ran or the track bed and here we've got is that the car that must be a car bridge yeah, looking north road bridge there it's road the, bridge the there north. we go road bridge that's a technical term that's it, yes. <laughs> um, and what I was is just interested in seeing that if you're cycling along here as an ordinary uh, punter so to speak what the interpretation you can get up onto a bit of the platform here yeah. without having to trouble uh, the lovely Linda um, just by coming up under the bridge and up we come here into the Sun unfortunately and they put a they put a nice authentic sign I don't know whether it's a real sign it's probably a replica isn't it it's little, a replica yeah it's a yeah. replica but it's a good replica yeah and then uh, there's a little bench here which if you so wish you could sit down uh, as Dumpman and I are doing because yeah, we're good. quite exhausted I am um, and I'm ready for a pint actually <laughs> and there you go as a nod to take your words out of your mouth uh, to the Hellingly Hospital there's this little extra tram well tramway is it would you right. say it was a tram uh, no well it's, it's full size you know standard gauge right and they built it to help them build the hospital in the late 1800s and then after the bit the construction was finished they used it for shipping patients and supplies from the main line to the hospital a mile and a quarter long 500 volt DC generated by the hospital generators themselves not much left to see apart from a gate which separated the standard railway property from the hospital railway property which we can see well we'll go and do that and finish our video down there shall we let's do that I think that's a good idea come on then I'll race you down there <laughs> it is a popular route this um this uh, cuckoo line do you know how long the cuckoo line actually is yeah I mean if you cycle it from Polgate up to Heathfield which is the publicly accessible bit it's about nine miles I think is it really nine well, miles could, could be 11 I think it's yeah. nine miles and it's, it's all uphill between oh is it Polgate uh, and Heathfield so you want to be really doing it the opposite way yes coming back is a breeze cycling up is murder yeah right. I've only done it once but it's nicely tarmacked and it's all in good condition and it is it's very smooth it's very yeah. easy riding lovely countryside presumably know. there's a few pubs on route are there yeah uh, i'm sure there are i mean well there used to be wesson's cafe which we've just found is closed a few days before our arrival ah. great institution gone to the wall but um like so many yes uh, but no there are various pubs although they're not actually on the track you know you, right, have to... you just make a di detour yeah yeah we're coming up to the point very close here where the, the little uh, railway to the hospital yeah. took her. So there would have been a large wooden platform in the middle of the track bed here, right. which is what served the, uh, the hospital. And uh, it's a sort of slightly separate entity to 
the, the standard railway but just sharing some of the, the, uh, the land. If we go down this little path here on the left, okay. the, uh, what they've done is replace the gate. Uh, it was just a gate post for many I'll, years. I'll let you lead the way. So it was just a gate, what, was it a gate, a road gate or just a gate into the land or? It's a gate across just a gate. the railway line. Across, I yeah. see. So anything that side of the gate was still owned by the, the railway company. Oh, I see. And this side of the gate was owned by the, the hospital. Owned by the hospital. Oh, okay. So it's sort of demarcated, obviously just a single track, just a little line that ran straight at our feet and off through these trees there, you can't really see it, but it would have bent round to the, uh, to the right. right. And that's all been fenced off because now that's obviously private property. It has, yeah. yeah. We could sneak round the corner and have a look at the track bed. I think we all, I think we all, our luck seems to be with yeah, us. Yeah, we should push it. Come on in. <laughs> so come out first of all into a field of, I don't know what this crop is, is that sweet corn or something? And then there's a whole load of new builds, but we're not interested in those. We'll take a little little detour across these very tall I don't know what they are but they could be sweet corn couldn't it through here <laughs> that part of our luck may have failed us ladies and gentlemen we're now trapped in this rather large field of what we think is sweet corn it may not be we can't get through this hedge or oh, Dumpman's having another look there's a, a number of very large prickly um, <laughs> things. I don't think we're going to do it, are we? You can't really see much, but the track bed is in there. It's right behind us. And you can still see, if you come looking, which I recommend you do in the winter, uh, there's a spiky iron fence both sides, which clearly show where the track went and uh, who owned the land. So, so that's as near as we can get. That's as authentic as it gets today. Well, that's fine. We run out of time anyway. Yeah. So it's time to go to the pub. <laughs> it's time to go to the pub. That's the best thing you've said all day. So <laughs> thank you so much, Dumpman, for okay. yet another series of interesting walks. Do join us again. Don't forget to check out Dumpman's films, of course. We've yeah. put the link below. And uh, that's it. Yeah. Join me on another walk somewhere else some other time. Till then. See you again. Yeah. See you again. Goodbye. Right. Back through the sweet corn then. Yeah. And all the brambles. All right.